Your speech title is Test Women Will Put You Through. Can I indicate on there? It's from the Compton Communicated Manual number two. The purpose is organize your speech. Please welcome to Toastmaster Peter Hain. Test Women Will Put You Through. Toastmasters guests and Toastmasters. As many of you, of you know, I have been writing a book called Be Her Champion, The Essential Skills for Winning and Keeping a Woman's Heart. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to talk specifically to the men in the room. It's a topic that you guys, I think, will be very interested in. It's the test that women will put you through to help them determine whether they want to keep seeing you or not. How many men are how many men in the room are aware that women are constantly testing you? Who women who are dating you are constantly testing you? No. Oh, one, two, three. So the majority of men are not aware of this activity going on? Well, you're in for a treat because I'm going to tell you the test that you're going to you're going to be you, that you are being subjected to or will be subjected to when you start dating. How do I know these things? Well, because I'm the love interrogator. And I inter interrogate women about these sort of things. That's how I know. All right. So, um, First, I want you to know that women speak in a very reflective way to each other when they hear something about your bad behavior. It could be some gainsay you make, or it could be uh, any number of things, but here are the sounds that they make. They will go beep, nix, he bombed, hmm, or oh, that's a red flag. If your girlfriend employs any of these terms with her friends about some egregious thing that you said or did, the foundations of your relationship might be getting a little shaky. <clears throat> In my book, I cite six, six tests. All right, here's the first one. Keeping your word test. If you say you're going to call at a certain time and don't, or say, I'll call you right back and take hours, then you get a nix. Women carefully note how you honor your word. So to stay on their good side, say, do exactly what you said you were going to do. The second test. Canceling at the last minute test. If you have a date planned, she calls and cancels at the last minute. She says she doesn't feel well. She, uh, the test's purpose is to see how you respond. If you get angry, then you bomb. If you say, no worries, let's arrange another time, you pass. Keep things on the light side, guys. Don't get exasperated with her. Empower her. Lift her up. All right, here's another test, the third test, including me with your family and friends. Your girlfriend wants to meet your family and friends. If you don't make an introduction, she'll wonder why are you keeping her so isolated. She might feel like a courtesan, a hooker. Uh, it, so if you're in, really into this woman, my gosh, introduce her to your family and friends. The fourth test, the cheating test. Your girlfriend will observe you around her good-looking friends or at functions attending by attractive women. If you don't flirt or if you rebuff the advances of a woman showing interest in you, you pass with flying colors. If you ask for her phone number, you bomb. <laughs> I personally 
did, I, I bombed one time with a woman. I went to uh, uh, Georgia with her on a trip, and we were at a party, and I couldn't keep my eyes off of one of her friends. And so I came up with a lame excuse, oh, I think you'd love to read about my book. Could I have your phone number? Well, it didn't take long before word got back to my girlfriend at the time that I had been very sneaky Petey and gotten this woman's phone number. It was shortly after that the relationship began to sink. The fifth test. Helping her get some, uh, getting something, uh, helping her get something done test. Say she asks you to help her uh, to do a favor for her, like help her take her cat to the vet. She'll watch how you react. If you say, okay, let's go, then you pass. If you hesitate or react negatively, you'll get a scowl, maybe a hiss. And you'll hear, well, and she'll say, beep. The pressure test. This is the final test. You're at her home on a couch. The action is getting hot and heavy. Suddenly, your girlfriend says, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. If you say, that's OK, we can go slow as you like, then you pass. If you keep pressuring her and say, give me a couple of minutes, I'll make you ready, well, be. So in conclusion, if you don't want a contusion, you need to be the champion for a lady, for your lady. I think I can, can sum up the points very quickly here. <laughs> uh, first, keep your word. Second, watch your roving eye. Be careful with that eye of yours. And third, be supportive. Make her life great. Happily take her cat to the vet. And don't put her undue pressure on her. She's already putting enough pressure on herself. If you do these positive things, you'll be her champ. And if you are a creep, watch out. You're going to be under the microscope. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Mr. Tosin. Appreciate it.